tables are a really useful function in Excel. I want to show you how to do that. So I'm going to click in here. And I'm going to show you two ways to create a table. One is to click on the Home tab and do the Format as a Table. And when you do that, you also get to choose a style. So we'll just choose a style here. And, and Excel um, makes a good guess as to where this table ought to be. So you see it's included all the data in the spreadsheet and so it also indicated that uh, there would be headers up here so this checkbox is selected so I'm not going to use that because uh, I want to show you the other uh, way to do that and that is to do the insert menu and click insert table and exactly the same thing happens Excel selects the area that looks like it should be the table what you intend um, you could have selected something different and uh, it'll, it'll do that we're going to go ahead and make it into a table. So uh, the question would be, well, what's the advantage of a table? Well, one of them is that you now can't scramble this data by sorting a column without sorting all the other elements of the record to go with it. And, uh, so it protects your data from being corrupted accidentally. The second thing is it offers some tools here. So now you have um, options to sort by a particular column and um, you can uh, do that or you can filter so you only see some of the, um, the data so if we wanted to filter this we'd select um, maybe just a couple of items here and then so we'll see only the data that fits that filter and the data uh, is all there that was showing before, it's just not showing right now, and it tells you that by this filter icon up here showing that this data has been filtered, it's not all the data. And you can clear the filter, uh, or change it, and so filters can be applied, and sorting can be applied to any of the uh, columns in the spreadsheet and they will maintain the uh, integrity of each of these rows as a, as a record. So that's, uh, that's the key thing about um, using uh, Excel as a database. It's best to make it into a data table here so that you protect your data. Now you might wonder how to get rid of this. So uh, in, when you have, you're in a table, you have table tools that appear up here. And um, so one of the uh, options in that is to convert to range. So what this does is it converts the table back to a normal range of cells. So um, we're, we're going to select that. And it asks us, do you really want to do that? And then, yes, we do. And so now it's converted. And it's kept the uh, formatting. So what I'm going to do is go over here and clear the format. And so that gets rid of all the table formatting that was in there. So we're back to you know, where we started, except I also lost the formatting of my header row up here, so I'll put that back. Oops, there we go. So that just shows you some of the uh, uh, tools that you have in tables, how to use those.